And all new tonight, we're getting a fresh insight now into the mind of Richard Matt from his very own brother here in Western New York. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins continues our team coverage on the story now. It's an interview you'll see only here on 7. Do you feel safer now? Is it, did it take his death to make you feel safe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it might sound bad, but I was in a way hoping this was the outcome. The resemblance so close that Wayne Schimpf says people have mistaken him for his brother, Richard Matt. Right now, I still don't think of him as the Rick that I knew. I can only think of the man that threatened to kill me and has killed other people and escaped. But tonight, with Matt dead, shot by law enforcement, it's the first time in years that Wayne, who testified against Matt for the 1997 killing of William Rickerson, says he feels relief. After my wife and I had testified, one of the last things I said to the detectives in the Niagara County Courthouse was, well, what happens if he escapes? I said, oh, that'll never happen. I had said I don't believe it and we'll cross that when it comes to. You find yourself there now. It's my worst nightmare. I mean, there hasn't a night that's gone by in 20 years, even when he was in Mexico, that when I put my head on the pillow, I wasn't worried. He's that dangerous of a guy. Yeah. Before Matt's escape to Mexico, Wayne says his brother demanded he let him use his van or he'd kill him and his wife. He also tells 7 Eyewitness News he recalls the night Matt and his accomplice went to kill Rickerson. Him and Lee Bates had left my home that night to go to Mr. Rickerson's house. He took my duct tape, my batting gloves, my baseball bat, my buck knife. He told me Mr. Rickerson he felt Mr. Rickerson owed him back pay. The last three weeks for Wayne, a whirlwind. He says tonight, learning of his brother's death, he's faced with mixed emotions. The first is like, oh, thank God, you know, this can finally end for me and my family, who's, I've really been worried about them more than anything, I think, sometimes. And then the next thought was, it's my brother. Wayne Schimpf says he saw an evil grin on Richard Matt's face when back in 1997, Matt told him how he killed William Rickerson. Wayne was questioned by investigators earlier this month at the Amherst home where he lives. He stresses again to me tonight he's relieved mainly for his family who lives there, who has nothing to do with Richard Matt. Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.